What's up, everybody? This is JT. Welcome back to the channel. Like I told you guys, I was coming back with another video. And in this video, I am doing mail call and stash ad. So let's jump right into it. First up, we got Jeff here in Jeff's model garage with one of my favorite vehicles, that uh, Chevelle SS on here. And uh, we also got a sticker. Also, I, I haven't figured out what I'm going to do with my stickers yet, but I have found a place for my uh, for my shop card. So, and here's an, he Jeff sent a few uh, a few cards um, in one. So, but I found this one funny. Just model garage. Concentrate on the smaller things. Yeah, we all had that time when we even got sleep at the bench and then fell asleep a few times. I know I have on them late nights. Yeah, so I like this. All right, so next uh, he sent another. This is a sticker, and I definitely like this one. It says, I didn't build it hoping for your approval. I built it because it meets mine. Yeah, you're damn right. Yeah, I dig that for sure. That makes me think about uh, Joe over at Model, uh, Model Building Corner. Joe commented on one of my... Uh, videos one time not long ago he said he said remember if it looks good to you then it's it's the correct way so I'm like you know what I'm sticking with that I like I like I like that so uh yeah so y'all remember this I didn't build it hoping for you approve I built it because it meets mine We're right so y'all go check out uh Jeff uh models garage Jeff I appreciate the words on the back man and uh yeah, y'all go check out his channel. Uh, he have a mix of mix of uh, different stuff on his on his channel, uh, mm -hmm. even down to planes and, and helicopters. So, uh, y'all go check out his page. Jeff, thank you for the support to my channel, man. All right, so next up we got uh, we got Joe's Rush 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 Shop. I was gonna say Rush Bucket, but it's Joe's Rush Shop, Youngstown, Ohio. Pretty cool shop. I like the colors on it. Got a few of his models that he built on here. I could tell that Ford from anywhere now that I've built a Ford kid. I can pretty much look at it and tell if it's a Ford or not. So I like that. But um, Joe, thank you for the words on the back, man. Right now, Joe is, uh, he was working on a, uh, he's working on a tow truck. Um, he was working on a tow truck, a rat tow truck, I think. Uh, it was coming out nice. I didn't get a chance to finish the video. I started watching it, but he's uh, he's done several videos since that. Um, I haven't had a chance to watch them, but he's also, uh, I think he did a, um, did he do an entry to um, either the Jeff or Joe? Uh, they did an entry to um. I was watching, they were doing an entry to uh, senior, uh, the tribute bill for senior. But anyway, both guys have a good channel. Y'all go by and uh, like, subscribe to their channel. Check out the videos. I got to check out more videos of my own. Oh, like I said before, it's so hard to keep up with everybody's video. But uh, next up, I got uh, Leon, model car 1589. I actually been waiting on this car for a while. Uh, yeah, this is uh, Leon. Uh, when I first, when I first uh, got, when we first, when Leon first got his uh, shop cards, I had requested for one. I think he probably ran out or something. But anyway, I got it in here. Uh, thank you, Leon. Leon right now is working on a. Um, he's 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 uh, working on a seniors tr uh, tribute bill, also uh, a Mustang. Uh, group bill, 
that he's working on too as well. And he also has a lot of low rider stuff. Uh, so if you're interested in low rider, y'all go check out his channel. Thank you, Leon, for the words on the back, man. Uh, so next, and I, I, uh, all these guys leave will be in the description. Next, I got a um, some more mail. I have um, I have the decals now for the uh, Firestone for the '78 uh, Ford, the uh, Superstone truck. Uh, thanks to uh, David, uh, subscriber. Uh, David has the channel. I, I will put his link in the description as well. Um, between him and uh, Doug, between him and Doug, I was able to uh, get a complete kit. So Doug and David, I definitely appreciate it. Um, definitely appreciate it. Uh, so yeah, I got a full, I got a full, uh, I got a full kit now. Uh, Dave, David had uh, commented on the, on the video that I made about that truck, and he told me that he had some um uh, some some parts doug um uh, inboxed me he sent me a, sent me an email and then told me he put a receipt and told me that the parts is on the way so uh i let david know you know hey i appreciate it man but david went on and he said well i got the decals and i seen the decal so i have a complete kit i definitely appreciate it. i actually i have a complete a complete kit and some extra parts too as well so thank you uh david and doug once again man next up i got some decals from uh from um uh, mike's decal uh, i'm real big on white leather tires and i got tired of looking for some so i bought these decals uh i'm going to try to test them out to see how they work see how good they work I hope uh, I'm gonna cut one out and then I'll post a picture later on to show you guys what, it's, what it what it looks like. But yeah, I'll put uh, Mike's link in the description to his uh, to his his website as well. So all right, y'all. So y'all go check out um, y'all go check out these guys' uh, channel, Leon. So. And Jeff, I definitely appreciate the shop card, fellas. I'm going to put them up over there where the rest of them are. Uh, I almost forgot. I almost forgot. I don't know if I showed y'all this. I got this a few weeks ago. Super B. Um, I got this from um, eBay. I paid... I think I paid about 15 bucks for it. Dodge Super B, 1969. I don't know if I already showed this or not. But I think I paid, I think I paid, I think it was 15. It wasn't that much that I paid for it. That's why I grabbed it. And so I have another one here. I got uh, from Amazon. It was, um, uh, like 18 bucks and it was cheaper getting it on amazon it was even cheaper getting it on amazon than it was going to going to hobby lobby getting a 40 percent off it was still a few dollars cheaper so i can argue with that so 1970 view gsx and next up we got the 65 Cornet 500. Now, I got this from Michaels. Yeah, I went back into Michaels. And I paid, um, I paid like 12 bucks for this, for this kit. And Michaels, I went back. This is a different Michaels I went to. So, all of the kit was there except for uh the frame so i do need the frame so if anybody out there has the frame i need the frame for it everything else was there so not bad even if i didn't have a frame it's not bad everything was, was there literally 
And it's uh, I tell you what, we could take a look at it. I went through and bagged it all up, separated the parts. It was molded in light blue. Some parts were molded in uh, dark blue. At first, I thought I was being. At first, I thought I had went to another deal like the Superstone. I thought somebody had came and put new, uh, put the strings out the parts to make it look big. And you got chrome, and then you got some gray. I have never seen a kit with mixed colors in this in the styrene. But uh, on the bottom here, let me show you. Hang on. All right, so I don't know if y'all noticed or not when you're looking at the uh, when you're looking at the bottom where the uh, parts are on some boxes, it'll tell you the color. So here's the color here, light blue on this, and you got chrome and you got blue here, and metallic silver, then black. So it's so I, like I said, I thought I was being, I thought I had to. Got another kit that somebody trade parts out of, but looks like somebody bought this kit, was intended to build it, and didn't, and forgot to put the the frame inside of it. So, because a lot of the parts were cut away from the trees, and I separated, and like I say, that's what's missing. So, so I ran out of time on the last video. So, like I was saying, it looked like somebody bought the kit. Um, was a tender build it didn't they because they cut parts out the tree so uh and they just forgot to put the frame back in there so i think that's what happened with this so uh once again if anybody know that has a frame for this or know a different frame i can use or something like that y'all let me know so i can possibly one day get this kit kit built if not then i think i can just kind of take amt and they will give me another one out so uh all right, y'all. So that's it. And that's all for the video. I may do the video challenge for um, for showing uh, the um, Jason over at uh, Blue Ox. He was doing a challenge showing you uh, your hobby room area. So I might participate in that. I don't know yet. But uh, all right, y'all. So that's it. And that's all. Make sure you go down in the description below. Click the link to Hobby Net Models and. Uh, click on the link to see what Mark has for us this week. Uh, and the next thing is, if you are in the Houston, we had fun uh, for other Friday, uh, this Friday, yesterday. That was yesterday. We had fun uh, at the Hams meeting. So uh, if you're in the Houston area, come out and join us every second Friday of the month. Uh, all the information will be down in the link in the description below. And if you plan to come join us, make sure you bring you a model or whatever. It's going to be anything you're working on. Something you already built years ago, something you just finished building yesterday, um, any kit you just got in, whatever you want to bring, bring something for show and tell. Uh, we all would like to see it. Uh, like I said, we had fun yesterday. So, all right, y'all. So, that's it. And that's all. I'll see y'all in the next video. I'm out.